Today we're featuring Ruby. Twelve jokes. Butterscotch amber on the microscope. Some one minute chess. And a large amount of... we don't know what to call it. Some of these days, you're gonna miss me, baby. Some of these days, you're gonna be so lonely. You miss my hugging, you're gonna miss my kissing. You'll miss me, baby, when I go away. I feel so lonely for you only. Ah, but honey, you know you had your way And when you leave me, I know it's gonna grieve me Gonna miss me, baby, when I'm gone What do you call a cross between an ostrich and a donkey? An arstrich. Let's start the show.
Hello, and welcome to the show today. I'm glad you all could make it. And if you couldn't make it, I'm glad you made it to hear this. And I'm just glad that you're glad. Because that's pretty bad. Cheers. How you doing? Whoa, we're falling down here, aren't we? Wow. Bloomp. Hey, there we are. Okay. So that's what we call getting ready for the show. And we got great chatters. Hey, Lizard King, I'm going to feature your video during the show today. That's all right with you. All right, was the plan. Hey, make some uh, videos of these other rocks, too. But I, the plan is to show your video. Um, we're going to get into the show a little bit here. And I wrote it down. I might not actually do it because I forget things like that. Like how I got to feature Apex Gems because I forgot to do it last week. And I try to give them a shout out on the 22 Day show. Let's see, we're going to show some butterscotch amber on the microscope cam. Christina and Son made it. Oh. Okay, now it's a show. And Colette's here. Oh man, she made it for the Ruby show. This is the only Ruby that I that I didn't give Colette. All the other Rubies have gone to Colette or haven't left their original box. They're all in the case. We got some Rubies. Gonna show some more Rubies on the microscope cam. You know what's really shameful is that I don't have an update for what's up with that Ruby. For for Tup that Ruby. I should have polished it. Oh, the days go by. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas week. Holidays all checked off and gloriously filled in for another satisfying year. Cheers. Mm. That's just beautiful, isn't it? So, what are we going to do with the rest of the show? I got about 30 minutes of this video. Actually, I want it's not 30 minutes, is it? It's no like it's like 20 21 minutes. I thought it was about 30 minutes, but I thought wrong. We're also going to uh oh, during the joke portion of the show, I'm going to show you uh Jones 10 rotten commandments. I think they're hilarious. I have See, hello, Jacob. Hi, everyone. I have a nice big agate sitting next to me between the size of a baseball and a softball. Hmm. Those are pretty close to size. One's like a small orange. Like, like, like if you bought a bag of oranges and there was one in there that you were like, hey, you're cheating me on this one. And then the other one's kind of the size of a grapefruit that's like a normal size of a grapefruit but nowadays they got those really really big grapefruits so it's more like a if you bought a bag of softballs and you were like hey I'm getting cheated on this and then we got pretty sure it's an agate okay so well probably I mean chalcedony is very prevalent and if it has like a layered effect in the chalcedony it's usually considered an agate I found my grandstone that has a bunch of fine lines on it. Mm. So, I think Malachite, if my memory's correct. And that sounds exactly like what I was going to say. Good thing you named it, then I didn't have to think of it. It's called teamwork there, buddy. Also have this one rock, got some real thick lines of red with metal. Ooh, probably iron. Very much probably iron. Could have a little bit of, you know, lead or... What's more likely is aluminum. Iron or aluminum. That's pretty prevalent. I got some uh, aquamarine with some aluminum on it. But it's over in the museum. Have to have to go and get it sometime this week. Um, let's see. That's what we need to feature is some aquamarine. That'd be fantastic. Yay, it is Christina. The one and only... And the only one, it's because you're a gem. And that's why you're here, because it's the Gemstone Channel. And we're always so glad to see you. I worked so much this week. I was so happy it was over. I slept through Christmas, and I had Dunkin' Donuts for Christmas dinner, which is the best Christmas ever, Christina. You don't even know. 
I slept through it and had Dunkin' Donuts for it. Oh, man, that's just fantastic. That sounds amazing. You guys are amazing. So, I, yeah, I'm a little perky. I don't know why. I'm like a, a cold nipple. And did, did my thing fall down again, or did I sit closer to the... Because I'll do that. I don't know if my... Blink. Because I, I thought I was, like, ready. And then I was like, eh. Maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am per... And it sh I should be, because I actually I took a nap. I remember Jeanette was... Um, she was watching me update the church website over on the YouTube Administrator channel. And she was like, you need some sleep. Are you going to get some sleep before your show? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, well, I hope I can make it, but I may be quietly horizontal. And I was thinking, yes. That sounds exactly what I want. And so I did. And, oh, man, I'm so, like, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself because I, I was late for the show today. But... I did try. I try to be ready. That's that's part of the problem. It's not conducive to doing the show on time when I get in the shower 10 minutes after my debut. But I am proud of myself. I took a 3 minute shower today and 2 minutes of that was shaving and brushing my teeth. Man, I need to get a haircut though, don't I? It's getting long. I'm getting that mud flat back there. And down here on the sides, I need to take some time and trim it up, and we're starting to get this thing. These glorious curls on the front that just kind of go wherever they want. Yep, and that's how we get ready for the show. I didn't have the card ready. I have to text the picture to Chris, the phenomenon, so that I can get it ready for the show. And then I have to find the video. Hopefully I have that. And then I have to make it into a thing, and then I have to post it on all the medias. I have to schedule it so I can get the link. And then I gotta get the song ready, and I gotta make sure that the webcam, the top left, and um, the slideshow on this OBS thing is working. And then I gotta make sure that I got the chat bot ready. And I'm trying to get into uh, a, a routine for all these things, so I can just, and they're there. And I gotta say, I, you know, for waking up about 7.45, I'd say about 45 minutes to get the show comfortably and preparedly ready. That allowed me to get perky enough to do the show. About 40, because, I mean, you know, like I, like I say, I was up 15 minutes before the show, but about 7 minutes after I was up, I was trying to put my socks on and about fell over. I guess I was just tired. I only slept for about two hours, I suppose. Yeah, probably about that much. Oh, and if you were here at all last night when I was powering up that computer, gee whiz, I was so... T the, the first problem is that I... Well, I took a nap before dinner, and it was only an hour, and I woke up and I ate dinner anyway, and then I had just enough energy to say, you know what's a good idea is to hop on a live panel and build a computer. It was cool because we were on a crafting panel over on Joan's, you know, crafting panel and she crafts things and I was like, I'm going to craft a computer. And I didn't seat the RAM modules all the way. Well, she was actually getting ready to go to bed by the time I was getting done with it and I went to power it up and I was like, you know what, it's going to take me a little bit to get everything to power it up. It doesn't have a VGA port on the back. It's only HDMI or DisplayPort, and I don't have any monitors that run DisplayPort. It's HDMI or nothing, baby. And when I went to power it up, nothing. No signal on the screen. So I had to check it out, and I'm tired, and I'm like, all right, I, you know, I'm determined. I'm not going to bed yet. Turned out I didn't have the RAM module seated properly. Well, that's not the only problem, and I... I knew there was going to be a couple of problems with it because of, because of reasons, but I, I expected to see signal, you know, I expected it to at least light up the keyboard. That's what the motherboard and processor is supposed to do alone. And then when you've got, it's, oh, it's private? Wait a minute. Private? What's private? The public or the private? No, this is 
private. Oh, that other one, Colette. Yeah, the computer one. Ah, yeah, it was just it. It's it's not meant to be content for my channel. It was just kind of a a live catch. You catch catch me doing the thing live, and so I w I had the computer ready and I fired it up. Didn't work checked it out it was a ram modules just barely i mean we're talking like maybe a 32nd of an inch not even a 16th of an inch unseated is enough and i oh man i swear i've done that before too because i mean it didn't come back to me until i saw it but these ddr4 modules they don't snap in on both sides they snap in on one side so you got to ramble jam the one side down in there and slide it sideways across which isn't that's how you pull traces off of boards is sliding anyway I got it to power up of course I couldn't get it to boot which I like I say I knew I was gonna have a couple of problems cuz I the original computer was 13 years old still in service still a rock-solid thing when my mobo went out back this spring I actually brought that computer over to the office and streamed on it one week yeah, isn't that cool? Got my computer up and running, and now we're upgrading that one. I figure we'll go with something newer, right? But I don't need the whole computer, because when I had their original computer going, I had got them a nice 500-watt EVGA power supply. That's a pretty decent brand. Um, I want to say it's a silver standard, which they have bronze, silver, and gold standard, and that's the percentage of the rating of power that they get. Hey, cheers Jeremy V. We're just talking about the computer. Um, so the, the short story is the hard drive is like six years old. It's got Windows 8.1 and it wouldn't agree with the motherboard. Like, like, okay, so here's, here's where I was like, why won't it boot? I go in, I finally, once I get the RAM module straight, I go into the BIOS and I set the boot compatibility and that allowed me to boot off of a hard drive that already has Windows and it loaded right up I mean I, it runs Windows 8.1 but I can't load any of the drivers so it doesn't run very well it's like when, when, when there's the loading screen on the TV and the dots are going around they kinda of flicker a little bit yeah and it's a fast computer but it's not very fast with the video and so I, try, I tried converting Windows 8.1 up to Windows 10 and I got an error and something about the hard drives transferring at like three or four megabytes a second and it should be 3500 megabytes a second or no maybe it's 750 and it's 3500 read somewhere in there it's pretty fast but it it's like one one hundredth of its speed and so it's got it pegged at one hundred percent usage and it like I'm like is it getting hot no not really but it gave me an error that it was either taking too long or having some kind of data so I've got to try it again that's where we are with it just trying to get it updated if I have to I'll put a new hard drive in it I was thinking that solid state drives probably about six years old to begin with it's all set up for M2 drives. It comes with this all like, oh look at this M2 drive heat sink. And you know, it's got fancy screws and all that. And it comes with a little pad. So I might as well switch them up to an M2. But I figured why, why go through all that if we don't have to? We can just plug it in and it should work. I mean, it should all be fast enough because that's not, that's not a 13 year old hard drive. It's a six-year-old hard drive it should work for now and it's got all their stuff on it I'm carrying on about computers and hard drives and did my camera fall down again I swear it did yeah I think I think my camera's given out on me it's tired of the show it's like all right you're putting me to sleep buddy and it's like slowly falling asleep can't stay around almost done oh wow we're almost done with the Ruby video and anyway kind of see what's up with this ruby I finished it out um, by hand on the table and let's see we've got to show lizards video um, so let's get that ready so I can show you some lizards stone because he's got this green stone 
And he was saying it's kind of smooth and kind of fine powdery and kind of minty looking. And... So he, he wanted to know what it was, and I was like, uh, turquoise? Maybe green quartz? Probably got copper in it. And he was like, well, that's what I was thinking. So I'm going to try it. Where is the link? All right. I, I can find it. I can find it. Okay, we're going to scroll down. We're going to do the find button. Control F. Little high Z. And where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? L I Z. What is the deal? Dude, I know I subscribed to you. I did it specific. I even commented on your video. So. Hmm, let's see if we can find it. Uh, another way. I w oh, I don't know if I can switch users while I'm live. I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there we go. We scroll down. We go F, L, I, Z. There's that one. And then we switch back. Because I found it that time. Am I still alive? Okay. Great. There we go. That's about right. Okay, now we're going to push that and push that. And here's the stone. I need help. Life just went stupid again. Okay, so I got the life. Okay, all right, so we're going to pause it. I thought I'd click that, and that didn't help. So anyway, hmm, the camera fell down again, didn't it? It's just slowly falling down over and over. I think this thing must have got upset with me when it broke, when I, when I dropped it. Or maybe I really am just boring the camera repeatedly into going to sleep on me just like I kinda do with myself I should just watch my show when I need to go to sleep at night let's pull up Chrome Planet Man oh I love Planet Man you guys ever listen to Dantro the Planet Man not sure what its geo makeup is. And there's that one. Bloomp. Shabloomp. Shablizablamp. Okay. So, let's go ahead and give this a little watch. How am I not watched? I dude, I, got I this other light that'll help maybe. Okay. Okay, so I got the light on my phone. I got this other light that'll help maybe. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So it's that's one side of it. Let's see if I can do the other side. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, it's I'm definitely a little bit, so don't get mad at me. Definitely. Oh man, dude! If you hadn't have said "Don't get mad at you," I was about to give. I'm kidding. But my hands are terrible. Wait for the microscope portion. That's the dirty side. That is it dirty because you touched it with your hands. Just asking. I mean, it just it threw me off so bad. No, I, I've seen right those, yep. Home, You're just like, oh, oh, what, what? Mm-hmm. I, I got a couple of those in my, in my collection. 
Look at that line on it, man. That light green it's line. Green color. I just I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I'm having a tough time too. I it's it the way it's you, okay. You see how it's smoothed over and it's not like jaggedy. I'm gonna show you a piece of green granite minty if green. I can find it. Yeah, like a minty gray green, almost like someone. Uh, yeah, minty green. That's the only. Good gracious! There we go. It's the only color I can really. And it, never, and it threw me off because it it looks like almost like a sandstone that you would find that would be yellowish orange almost. Something like that. And that that greenish color, man, and I even looked in these cracks to see if it went any further down, and the color recedes below the line, like it's all part of the stone. To be exact on its weight, I've even got a scale over here. Oh, snap. Oh, Let's weigh it up. This is green granite. This is weight. You you go you go down the railroad right. tracks and there's red ones and there's blue so, ones. This is a green one. For the weight, which will help some people that know rocks and geography determine some things. It is exactly 9.7 grams. It's only a, it's almost a 10 gram stone. Oh dude, look at that wound. You got the COVID, don't you? Again, this green, kidding, and it recedes with it, it seems. Like, into the stone or whatever. So I instinctively, it stood out to mm -hmm. me, so I picked it up. Figured, hey, maybe you might have something cool we can do with it. Yeah, hmm. that's it. Sorry, two minutes and 50 seconds seems a bit long. No, no, that was, that was good, man. That was good. Um, yeah, the... Uh, this, the way it's really smoothed, okay, so turquoise is more of a fine powdery or blue. And the bluer the turquoise, the more rare it is, the more desirable. Um, I mean, really, the beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But the blue stuff is rarer, and rarer makes it, makes it harder to come by, which is more valuable. Um, I mean, for, first you want desirability over rarity. I mean, there's a lot of things that are rare, but it doesn't make them valuable. Uh, but, uh, anyway, this, this is, this is more of a hard, it's, it's very sparkly and sedimentary, and it can't be smoothed over because it's really, like, big. There's big sediment chunks, and it, it's, it's got the, this, like, flicker, and that's the quartz in it, and there's the copper mixed in with it. Um, but then once they, they like, they're separate. You know, you've got two things and they're mashed together. But once they actually become one, then that's when it becomes more of a turquoise. And I have uh, one other one that I picked up out there. One other green quartz. Or, uh, yeah, uh, green granite. That's what I'm saying. Forget what I said the first time. And this webcam is really, really tired. I, j I don't know, it's just had a long week or something. I don't know, it just seems like it must be, it, it can't put up with all this, this live streaming that I've been doing. It can't handle all of that. I have some green stones like that. Oh, Colette, you've got some green granites. See, this one's got a little more vibrancy than this one. And this one's a little bit finer of a, a particle than this one. It's not as, as rough. But then it, I would say that going from this one to this one to the next one would be what Lizard King has in the video there. And it's probably been, you know, rolled around in a river somewhere. Whereas these were just kind of chunked out of the ground and then strewn about over the railroad tracks. And so you're, you're one that's been washed around in the water or maybe it started on top of a mountain and over time it wore down and rolled down the mountain those are called alluvial and then they'll wash down into the you know the riverbeds and stuff because that's where you know, down the hill and that's why the Appalachian Mountains have more gemstones available in them because and I'm gonna roll some other video of a stone I was trying to cut that hasn't quite worked out we haven't finished it yet but it's you know it's coming it's on its way I don't know I don't know 
we're, we're going to try and see. But you'll, you'll get another little feel for this Ruby type stuff that we're working with. And we can actually get over to the microscope portion of the cam. Co program. Pro, pro cam. Grant, program a cam. Camogram. There we go. Cheers. So the Appalachian Mountains are supposed to be really, really old. And so they, you know, they brrrr, and then the weather has caused the first few layers to roll down. So a lot of the surface or gemstones have rolled down the mountain. And a lot of them are exposed because of the weathering. Make another quick video of a rock. Okay, great, Lizard King. Awesome. We'll feature that one next week. That would, that would be awesome. You're giving me more content here. This is great. I need to start using the lens clip and the letter N in place of the letter M. But you know how those buttons, dude, those buttons are so small, man. You know what I really, really miss is those f phones where it's like clink and then you got the whole keyboard on it, you know, and then you're like clink. Oh man, what were those called? The sidekick? Cause it, you know, it slipped out the uh, sli side sliders. I love that phone. I had uh, one of them, it was just too fantastic to be real. Sometimes I kind of wish the computer mouse was a slide side was a side slider. Like, you know, it, it'd just be the bar and you, you could just computer mouse around, clickety click, and then you just flip and you can type something and then you flip back and you can, it'd be really handy. You know, you could have it for your tablet and it'd be a combination thing. Haven't seen one, there's gotta be one out there. Gotta be, maybe not. Either way, let's get to the microscope portion so I can show you a little bit of what's going on with this butterscotch. And we can show some rubies. Why not? Man, it's extra tired. So, I, man, I'm actually going to have to like get a new webcam or something. I guess I could put some glue on this hinge so that it it will fix that part of the show. Or I can, uh, you know, wedge something in there. Hey, scrapping, how's it going? Dude, I did a scratch off ticket on the show last week for Christmas. Always try to do do some of the something fun every Christmas and uh, I've done a scratch off ticket three years in a row now that's pretty fun I broke even too so at least I didn't lose but as I'm busting out the coins I'm like oh man I, I bet scrapping you get a kick out of this tape gem tape whatever tape we were talking about tape probably maybe Lizard King's making a video tape he's actually gonna record the VHS then he's got to mail the VHS to YouTube and then they will scan it and upload it for him. That's how the old school YouTube would have worked if it was economical. Where's the microscope cam? We're gonna go to the desktop. We'll go to the joke intro. That's where the scope cam is. Ooh, we didn't have a lot of video there either, did we? And we'll skip forward to the tup that ruby scene. Wait a minute. It's looking for OBS virtual cam, but we want the lo no, we want the Logitech cam, USB cam. There it is. Let's bust out this butterscotch, shall we? Where's the rubies on the show that we're gonna show? Better pull out that green granite while I while I have it, because I actually set that back down, like where it goes down. And I was gonna forget to show it. So, anyway, here's a little bit more of that ruby. Oh man, where's the red stuff? The red ruby that we wanted to get to. That's what I'm really looking forward to, is that deep, dark red stuff. Let's see, that's not the box with the red stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not it either. I'm gonna find, I'm probably gonna find it. You stick around long enough, I'll make you regret it. Mm-hmm, working, 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 working. Keep them Jacobs working, working, wearing rawhide. That would be comfortable, right? Where is it at? Okay, I got the dark ruby. Dark, dark ruby. Dark, dark ruby. There. This stuff. 
It's dark. But I think it's got some translucency to it. So let me try and put a light under it. Let's see if I can put this phone of cellulosis under there. We'll give it the flashing light. Put the ruby right over the light and show you what I'm talking about. Blam dizzle. Okay, notice the lines going up and down and across. Those are cracks. Yes, they are. This thing is full of cracks. It's probably worthless. But it's going to be fun to shape. And we don't know how far down those cracks go. So it's hard to say just exactly how much good material's in it. So we can roll it like this and get kind of a view. And then like that. And some of that stuff where the light is just coming right on through. That's clean ruby material. It's not completely translucent, but it's definitely not opaque. Man, that's going to be cool to get into. <clears throat> I got a couple of pieces like that, but for some reason I must have put them down at the bottom of the box pot and they are looting me. Here's another one that's kind of dark like that. It's actually got a little bit better color. So I'm kind of more excited about this one than that one, but I don't think it has as much translucency. Notice how... Come on, come on, come on, Bakker. Come on, Bakker. Notice how it has... Okay. So it has this line. It goes like down along here. And then it's got this dark zone. So I think that is one chunk, and then this is like another layer of stuff down this way and so that that darker area up top there all right so let me let me kind of show you this on this cleave this face here you got to kind of make it out it you use your imagination a bit one two three four and then that's kind of meshy five six sides this is a column see how it's 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 like a rod Notice how it, it, it has like like that side and then this side and it's a face. It's kind of like a column running through the ruby itself. And that's how they grow is in columns. And sometimes they make columns inside of themselves. When you have like a quartz point that grows on, on the outside of another quartz point, they're called ghost quartz. They're called ghost points. So let's see if I can pull one of those up. Point. Um, Q warts. I uh, actually have some ghost imperial topaz, and it's it, I call it imperial even though it's clean. It, it's pretty much clear, but it's clear yellow, not clear blue. But the cool thing is, it actually has ghost ghosting in it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna totally pull up the picture for you to see. You can see. Maybe we'll just skip back to the live scene. Open up Chrome. And show you the ghost quartz. So that has this point of quartz and then it has this point inside and this point inside. So there's a couple of other points. It looks like there might be three of them in there, maybe more. And they're called ghost, ghost quartz or phantom quartz. So, um, actually, that reminds me. I'm going to take a note so I, I can remember. Let's see. Topaz. We'll get that ghost topaz. Phantom quartz. Maybe that's what I was looking at. I keep. I always call it ghost quartz, but phantom quartz crystal. Okay, there you go. It's a, this is probably a better example of it. It, it kind of shows the different layering, and it's so cool. It's like a little layer of bubbles that, that show the outline of the crystal inside of the crystal. So it's like a crystal formed on top of a crystal after some type of change in the landscape. or you know. And it's not even necessarily the direct landscape, but it could be the landscape above that you know it changes the way that the water's flowing. 
and uh, causes it to form that way. New green rock video ready to upload. Super dope. That's awesome. Just some green vibes. Getting ready for it. Have to watch the replay. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, not, <laughs> it's not really worth the watching the replay necessarily, but we did have a lot of fun. I, I will say that. Everybody that was there was really cool. And I enjoyed having everybody there for it. It was, I, you know, it was a $250,000 scratch off. And, uh, it was, um, it, it was, uh, crossword, crossword puzzle. So I was like, H, H is for horses. For all the horses I'm gonna buy with all this money, which you can't buy horses with 250,000, you can't even afford a barn to keep them in. Isn't that weird to think nowadays with with the way things are and and gas engines and electric engines and you know nowadays I mean it used to be that horses were what poor people had and nowadays you got to be rich to have horses and. You know what? You know what I really think would have been cool about horses is that if you got a couple of horses, you put them in the barn, you get more horses. How cool would it be if you could, you know, put your car and your truck in the garage and give them some extra hay, and next spring you got a little dirt bike, you know? That'd be really cool. And then that dirt bike grows a couple more wheels, turns into a nice little Toyota Corolla, and you keep feeding it, and it grows up into a nice strong F-350. That'd just be fantastic, which reminds me, we should probably get back to the actual show, because I don't know if I have any video rolling. And I got the chrome portion taking over the gem portion, and we were supposed to do the microscope portion. So let me roll just a little bit of that beautiful gem and bean footage while I show you this amber that we got in the mail. I'm just loving up oh, nope wrong one oh no hold on it's the other file cuz I've got so much gemin footage that I have to break it down into different folders otherwise it takes forever to load hey did I show you this ah oh, I don't know if I did or not I'm gonna show you okay so this this is and I'm gonna switch back to the live scene for this this is some of that 1800s foundation that I was working on this is some of the 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 uh the mortar this is this is some of the cement that goes in between the limestone rocks and this is you know if you want to use some cement you want to use this yeah you see that break apart man that was nasty that's that that's the cement that's yeah, that's the stuff. That's how broke down it was. And that it, it was put together before we have modern Portland. It was mostly lime, and that's what happens to it. The Portland cement lasts longer, but also that was getting a lot of water damage. And I don't know if you notice up near the top there, there's some weeds that were growing. It was getting pretty bad. But we fixed her up. Should be good for a while. At least 20 years. Oh, here, uh, as I was pulling the rocks out and all that mortar... The mortar was so weak, it was almost like dirt, and crickets were getting in there. There was a nest of crickets. Yep, okay, so that I didn't really get much of a video. My hands were covered with all the dirt and stuff, and, and you know, I'm trying to work here. But if you notice, there's like a, a little black hole, and there's actually a cricket in there, and a mealybug, and all this other dirt. I, I, I have a picture of it. I've got a, you know, I'm going to pull the picture up. Mm, I don't know if I've loaded it though. Let me see if I can get you some more video rolling and then we'll get to that picture. Okay, what do I have in terms of video? We can roll some of this. Gorgeous little footage that I don't even know what we're doing. Oh, okay, that's the Maria Citrine. So, where is that picture? We've got elements, 25. It's got to be in here. That's 22. That's 25. We're getting newer. Newer, newer, newer. 
Mm -hmm. There's the crickets. Blam. Freaking crazy man craziness, man. Okay. Let's pull this up. We'll go like that, and then we'll go like that. Whoops, nope, that not that one. I'm looking for the picture. Smart camera? Maybe? And let's try this. We have to have the picture up, and then we can click on picture. Right? Where's it at? Streamlabs, Excel, Chrome, Picture Manager. There we go. All right, done. Now we gotta let you see it. Yep. So that's basically the same little area of the video. And there's the cricket and the mealy bug. Here's a little hole where another cricket poked his head out, and he's like, "Screw that! It's cold. I'm going away." And then he go and then look down here. There's a couple more crickets, and they're so cold. They're just like. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing, and everything's falling apart. And let's see, there is, there he is, just hanging out. He's just like, meh, whatever. Tunneled all up in there and stuff. Crazy things. Yep, there we go. There's the front of the building, and that's pretty much. Oh, there's that's what I want to show you. So this is one of the weeds roots, and if you notice how it's all spirally. That's, uh, they don't grow that way. That's because somebody was twisting on it repeatedly, trying to yank that f***er out of there, and it wouldn't come out, because look at all these roots. All those roots are hanging on, and that fiber can't handle it. That's crazy stuff right there. That's why I took a picture of it. Had to document that. That was interesting. Enough that I thought we could put it on the show, because it's more interesting than most of the content I come up with. Da -da -da -da. We gotta get a thing for the microscope. Oh, well, that reminds me. The microscope cam. We were supposed to be doing the, the microscope cam. So, let's show you that amber. Got a little distracted with, you know, bugs. Sorry to bug you. Hope you like that one. We are getting pretty close to where I gotta suscept you to the joke portion of the show. Oh, we gotta do this green granite. So, notice how it's like, it's got bigger dots, and then there's like layers and chunks. There's like little green areas, and there's little dark areas, and all those little reflective specks are the quartz, building its own little quartz crystals. And the green is probably building either a chalcedony, a turquoise, or a malachite. It could be, it could be more of a malachite. But malachite takes different constituents than quartz. There has to be more more minerals. But anyway, that's the green quartz. Let's look at the the, the smaller one, shall we? The one with the finer finer material. It's not as vibrantly green, and the particles are smaller. It's a little more like a sand, but it's still pretty much the same stuff. I mean, it probably came, you know, it, it could be from the same, you know, like one foot sized rock. Or they, you know, they could be from like 30 miles apart, probably. Probably not. They're probably both from the same quarry. And they're maybe like 300 feet apart or something like that. But anyway, that's the good in quartz. Now, time to show y'all the amber. So I showed you the, the copal. We got blue amber to work with, right? This is butterscotch. This is cool. And it's got like some translucency along these areas. This dark yellow stuff, I can I can like see through it. Let's see if I can show that part on the cam. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that delicious looking? It's tree sap. We're looking at syrup. You can wear some syrup on your finger. And I tell you what is cool about this stuff, it's so lightweight, 
you wouldn't even feel it on your neck. I mean, I could wear this whole big old chunk and not even think anything of it all day long, all day for the rest of my life, you know? That would just... I don't even know what's going on with all this. This Look at these little intricacies and such. I gotta learn more about this. We're, uh, to be honest, I'm not gonna process this until I process some of the opal. We're gonna get to the opal first. This is gonna be interesting. Because it, it, I mean, obviously it's been polished down. That's why it's got the little powder in it. And I think it's been shellacked. But that's all right. We can get we can get rid of that. I don't know if it's been shellacked or not, though. Actually, it's hard to say. I think this stuff just polishes up that nice to begin with. But we can get rid of some of this cloudiness and get down into that translucency and then maybe facet some of it. Wouldn't that be cool? Some of that that translucent stuff right there. Like this stuff here on the end. That'd make a really cool gem, wouldn't it? And it's polymerized. So it's actually kind of like working with plastic, apparently. Yeah. Doesn't cut the same as glass. <laughs> that's going to be fun to work with, though. I guess that's probably why people buff it. They, they buff it on a buffer, and a lot of amber's round instead of being, you know, faceted. Because then you gotta you got to buff it. you got to have a flat buffer instead of a, a wheel. You gotta buff it on the on the side. You gotta be like 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 here's the buffing stuff, not here. Buff the buff stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, and that's the uh, Ruby portion of the program. Man, I am really dragging this show out. Don't have any interviews lined up for this show, but I want to get some interviews on the docket. That way, I can uh, give you guys some actual interview stuff to look at I because I, I want to get some new interviews going and we're after the first of the year I want to have that all ready so I'm trying to professional up the show a little bit and it doesn't help when I drop the gems but that I mean we're just gonna keep doing that anyway that's probably gonna have to be like our fourth or fifth goal down the road got a little closer to going live on time this week we'll just we'll just kind of keep that goal a going a little bit at a time and just like our goal that we have every week of writing you some of the freshest jokes that I can come up with. I got maybe two of them that are decent. I got a bunch of them that not necessarily aren't. But that's why we call it the joke portion of the program. What do I have this week for the joke portion? Not much. I'm actually I I asked Joan if I could use her 10 Rotten Commandments to help fill out the joke portion of the program. But first, let's see if I can get through mm, this stuff that I tried to... Con I, I was running out of ideas, and I'm also running out of excuses. What do you call a bird that knits a crow? Sure. Mm -mm. I have an... Aunt okay, yeah, so I... I went into a building and I found out what a rotunda is. Actually, I should look that up so I can tell you. Let's see, rotunda. Define rotunda. A round building or room, especially one with a dome. Yeah, I found out that a rotunda is a round building, especially one with a dome. Which struck me as kind of weird because I have an ant rotunda. She always leaves with all the leftovers. Why did the romantic person take the object of their affection to court? So they could sue their pants off. I went to the car dealership and I was going to buy a car. And they told me that if I get this one, it comes with a supercharger. I opted for the charger, but I'm kind of wondering if I should have gone with the soup. I should have asked him if I could get the option where I get a soup and charger with my car. I mean, who doesn't want a car with a soup and charger? I got a watch from Al-Qaeda. I got arrested for harboring a terrorist. Ugh. Terrible. 
I got a couple of better ones, I hope, but we're, we're still a couple more bad ones. You know I've been putting on some Christmas pounds when I walk down the street and people sing, Here comes Santa. Why is it called manna? Because after you eat some, when someone asks if you're hungry, you say, Man, uh, I ate a bunch of manna. What rank did the corn receive when it joined the army? The rank of colonel. Why did the magician change their voice? Because they were an accent trick magician. What do you call a cross between an ostrich and a donkey? An arstrich. We're, we're almost done. Getting there. Getting there really fast. Which football team does Luke Skywalker root for? The Darth Raiders. Couple more. Do fish have pancreases? Or do they have panko creases man that's really bad panko's a type of fish right I've heard I've heard that I don't know that I've ever eaten it what do you do when you gain liberty the independent dance why did the rock fall down the mountain it was more bolder than the rest just like this week's joke portion of the program I love the joke portion. That's why I do it every week. And I keep hoping that I'm going to get better at it. Kind of like this chess portion of the program. Gee whiz, i got to do some chess. Hey, Ron's here. Awesome. Man, Ron, I saw you enter a comment earlier. I didn't know if I said hi to you or not. It was awesome to see you, man. Don't take long for the brains to rocks. Yep, It well, they turn to rocks really quickly. My brain does. Let's see if we can go chess.com and switch to the chess portion. But we got to pull up chess. Chrome live stream. Chrome chess stream. El Dunzo. Blink. Okay, play online with someone who is way better than I am. We'll just click on this one. How's that sound? Play as guest. One minute. Go. Oh, man, the pressure's on now. You know the last time I played a game of chess? Last, oh, 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 uh, mm, here. Last week on the show, that's when I last played a game of chess. Uh, we'll go there. And the, 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 there. And uh, there. And we're going to go there. And we're going to go uh yes. I drew blood. Oh man. I'm running out of time too. Dang. Dang dang. Dang dang. Take it with the queen. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I gotta do a thing, don't I? Okay, so, we'll just move that one there. And then we'll move this one... Uh, here. Here? And here. And he here. Trap ya! And there. 
Ooh, I didn't see that one coming. Go, oh, ran out of time. Okay, he got he, that was a pretty good game. All right, I gotta I gotta figure out how to say good game. Good game. Glad y'all could join me for that game. Man, I got whooped again. We're gonna have to figure out how to play chess, which is another thing that we're gonna have to do on the show that we do every week around this time gonna get better at this actually I, I gotta say being 30 minutes late isn't too bad compared to like three and a half hours late a rockaholic about 35 years old oh Colette I didn't even know you were 35 years old good one you guys are fantastic I'm so glad y'all made it to the joke portion and I'm so glad that I have all of you to chat with every week and I hope to see you again next week and every week at 9 p.m. Eastern. Have a great week, y'all.